Boy, a $47 million infrastructure project made possible through tax increment financing has started in Killington. It's paving the way for a new ski village at the mountain, but as Adam Sullivan reports, the entire region could benefit. It is a project three and a half decades in the making, which is now officially underway here in Killington. With a snip of the ribbon, local and state leaders celebrate the start of a new municipal water pump station in Killington. This has been a project that we've been waiting for for a very long time. The project, which includes upgrades to the access road, will pump water to the base of the mountain where a huge ski village is in the planning stages. And in order for our community and region to grow, we really need to have a reliable water source. Clean water has been a source of frustration for business owners in Killington over the years. With all the contaminants that we have in town, the PFAS and everything, and we don't have any municipal water system here. But the project is not just about water. The pipeline will help the town grow as well in the form of new housing. We've taken it on in Killington as a select board to say, hey, we got to solve this problem. So we bought a 70 acre lot and it looks like 250 to 300 home sites or, or, or apartments. The initial phases of the project, which includes the new ski village, is estimated to increase the town's taxable grand list by more than a quarter billion dollars. Officials say that will likely bring benefits to the region that extend far beyond Killington. There's this constant connection through that Route 4 corridor. Rutland's mayor was one of the dozens of people on hand for Wednesday's ceremony. Whether it's the tourism and people coming down to Rutland to shop, you know, during, while they're up here, or the fact that tons of people that work on the mountain live down in Rutland. Officials say water should begin flowing up the mountain in the summer of 2025 with access and hookups available in the spring of the following year. Reporting from Killington, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.